Obamacare just imploded with sudden second move Trump just made overnight, libs are furious. The Senate had their chance to do what was right for Americans and what the President of the United States wanted. Instead, rhinos and Democrats deliberately went against Donald Trump despite the peril that the citizens of this nation are in as a power move against him. Now, for a second time in 24 hours, Trump just pulled the ultimate power play and made a second surprise move overnight that has sent liberals into a complete panic. The American people have been forced to pay for Obamacare and punished for it if they don't or can't participate. That's not acceptable to our president who is for the people and not special interest groups. The government should have never gotten involved in an industry that's part of a free market and getting it back to what it should have always been is going to take something major. President Trump was the man to make that happen and just did with this latest sudden move. President Trump threatened to end all government payments to lawmaker health insurers if Congress does not pass a new health care bill. He's saying that bailouts for insurance companies are on the chopping block if they don't fix this fast, as a second move to ending bailouts for members of Congress. He also made it very clear to call to attention the fact that Congress lied to the American people for seven years by saying that if they would elect the GOP they would, in fact, be repealing and replacing the failing Obamacare law. This tweet came a day after Senate Republicans, led by Arizona Senator and our favorite traitor, John McCain, failed to get the 51 votes which would have been enough to at least repeal parts of the Affordable Care Act. President Barack Obama's signature health care bill, commonly known as Obamacare, is about to implode with this second huge move Trump said he'll take in stopping the bailouts. The risk of not repealing Obamacare is that it would lead to the enactment of a single-payer European model of insurance. Everyone's health care is then subject to what the government feels is sufficient, except lawmakers, of course. The White House press release on the matter said. Obamacare failure is on the Democrats. Premium and deductible costs are rising and choice and competition are decreasing. As of now, over 1,200 counties will have only one insurance provider available on the individual market next year, and 35,000 individuals will live in counties with no options available at all. Senate Republicans are planning to vote on their version of the long-awaited health care replacement bill as early as next week. This is the latest development in the contentious process of dismantling the Affordable Care Act. The unveiling of the Better Care Reconciliation Act sets up another showdown of competing narratives. ACA supporters will accuse Republicans of cutting coverage and reducing benefits and the GOP will point to a flawed system that is losing insurers and forcing double-digit premium increases on families across the country. This face-off is nothing new. The conversation has played out repeatedly over the past six months. But one thing no one seems to be talking about is that Republicans are the only ones attempting to address the rising costs, declining quality of coverage, and increasing lack of choice in the healthcare marketplace. As of now, over 1,200 counties will have only one insurance provider available on the individual market next year and 35,000 individuals will live in counties with no options available at all. These numbers are expected to increase as insurers finalize their 2018 plans in the upcoming weeks, and yet, Democratic lawmakers have not introduced any major legislation to try and fix the system. They have taken the easy way out, showboating and complaining instead of working on a solution to stabilize the health insurance market. The Democrats' refusal to change current law most likely stems from an unwillingness to admit that the ACA has not lived up to its promises. Conservatives predicted eight years ago that a government-heavy health care system would lead to decreased competition and increased costs. Democrats should not let embarrassment that those predictions came true prevent real solutions and lasting reform. To anyone who has ever wondered what we patriotic red-blooded Americans saw in Donald Trump need to look no further. He isn't in it for what he said he was at the start, the common man and the American people who trust in him for real change. Today he has done what all of us have been saying since day one. If Obamacare is so great then why did the ones voting on it exempt themselves from it?